Hey everybody, welcome back to the show. I'm your host, Dr. Nick, and this is the 90s Guy Show. If you haven't heard, ever since the NXT takeover with uh, Asuka and Mickey James, apparently Mickey James was offered a full-time contract to come back to the WWE if she desired. That would be awesome. I would love to see her uh, against women like Nikki Bella, Becky Lynch, Charlotte, Nia Jax, uh, even somebody um, such as like Bailey. That would be really cool. It would benefit the women's division considerably if they had a uh, veteran woman wrestler on the roster. It would be a hell of an addition. I mean, Mickey James has, has been a proven veteran in the women's division. Former women's champion, former TNA knockout champion. Uh, Mickey James is, is definitely going to go down as a legend uh, in the women's division. So, what does this mean? Will she accept a contract being a part-time or, or will she go back to being full-time? Either way... Definitely exciting uh, thing for to happen. I, w I would love to see it happen. Last night's pay-per-view, TLC. Um, I don't know. I just really wasn't into the pay-per-view. I'm not really sure what it was uh, about it, but I just, I just couldn't get into it. I mean, the matches were good. Carmella versus uh, Nikki Bella. The uh, tag team match with uh, the Wyatts and uh, Rhino and Heath Slater. The title match between, uh, Intercontinental title match between Dolph Ziggler and The Miz. And of course, the uh, match between Baron Corbin versus Kalisto. AJ Styles versus Dean Ambrose. Um, all in all, I'd have to give the pay-per-view probably a B plus. I don't know what it was, but th this is just my opinion. Hear me out. Having the brand split is a good idea, but I think we're having so much overkill on these pay-per-views it just seems like a couple weeks not even a week ago we had survivor series and then coming up is the, is raw's pay-per-view roadblock it's just becoming so tedious having two pay-per-views a month um they don't have enough time and a, and a lot enough ability creatively to have storylines that are such short term if it was long term it would benefit the talent, and it, it would make things more interesting. Um, I mean, I just it's hard for me to put into words exactly my frustration with uh, what's really going on. Um, of course, at Roadblock, uh, you're probably going to have uh, Kevin Owens versus Roman Reigns, I'm guessing. Um... Kevin Owens will retain, at least in my opinion, he'll retain. I, I'm guessing that would be my best educated guess. Um, Jericho tonight, if you're watching Monday Night Raw, is uh, going against Roman Reigns for the United States Championship. I would love to see Kevin Owens versus Chris Jericho at some point. It would be awesome. Um, I'd love to see it. It would be really, really interesting. Uh, there was something else I was going to talk about. Um... My memory sucks. Uh, if you can't tell, sometimes I'll be doing these videos and I'll just kind of have a brain fart. But, um, oh, oh yes. Um, if you haven't paid attention to what's going on on social media, if you've noticed lately, more and more people are becoming very critical of just certain aspects of the pay-per-views and the Monday Night Raws and just shit like that. It's become to the point now where no matter what WWE does, somebody finds something wrong with it, even if it's a little bit, tiny bit. It's very frustrating. It's kind of annoying. Why can't we just all enjoy the product? Uh, excuse me. I mean, you can critique it. That's fine. But to blatantly just sit there and, and bitch about things that you can do nothing about and... Uh, you know, it, even if it's like minuscule, something that is not even that important. People do that as well. It happens. It's the internet. 
People are assholes. People are going to be annoying. It is what it is. But anyways, like this video, hit the subscribe button down below, and I'll see you all later.